Stealing is a crime. But what about death penalty for falling asleep? North Korea's defense minister was executed because of falling asleep in a meeting while this guy was talking. It's a crime, at least in his eyes. Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, or a psychopath, from banning laughing to publicly executing for having a Bible and even imprisoning entire families for no crime at all. This is called Kim Punishment, which states, if you commit a crime in North Korea, not only would you be punished, but three generations of your family members, your parents, grandparents, and your children would also receive punishment without having committed a crime themselves. Kim Punishment exists mainly to prevent escapes from North Korea. The horror of life in North Korea is so complete, they would rather be slaves than live in North Korea. In 2022, two teenagers were publicly executed for watching K-drama, while in 2021, seven students were imprisoned because of watching Squid Game. Foreign movies, songs or books are illegal in North Korea. The penalty for the crime, if you're lucky, five years of imprisonment, while your parents receiving six months for your crime, but sometimes it's death penalty. Since North Korea is cut off from the rest of the world, don't you dare connect with the outside world. In 2007, a factory boss was publicly executed for the crime of making international calls. He was executed by firing squad in a stadium in front of a massive crowd of 150,000 witnesses. Everything needs to be under government control, even your closet. It's illegal for North Koreans to wear jeans, especially blue jeans and skinny since Kim Jong-un view jeans as symbol of American influence and capitalism. Women's clothing needs to be loose-fitting and modest, and all kinds of foreign trends are strictly forbidden. As a North Korean, you're only allowed to get haircuts. From a very small list chosen by Kim Jong-un, however, his own haircut is not on the list. To enforce these rules, North Korea has an actual fashion police, which is a women's union carrying whistles. If you choose your own style, you will be publicly humiliated and shamed. Despite these restrictions, there is still a thriving black market for clothes and makeup brought from South Korea. The regime took his life simply because of a poster. Otto Warmbier was an American student in December 2015. He made the mistake of visiting North Korea as part of a tour group with the slogan, destinations your mother would rather you stayed away from. On January 2, 2016, Warmbier was arrested at Pyongyang International Airport, accused of attempting to steal a propaganda poster. I committed my crime of taking out the important political slogan. I beg for forgiveness. But the judge showed no mercy. He was sentenced to 15 years of imprisonment with hard labor. However, after 17 months, he was released in a coma. And six days after returning home at the age of 22, Otto Warmbier passed away on January 19, 2017. Damaging or stealing such items with the name or image of a North Korean leader is considered a serious crime by the North Korean government. In 2020, a North Korean mother was detained because of saving her children from a burning house rather than leader's portrait. Every family is required to hang North Korean leader's portrait in their home and it is a crime to allow any harm to get to it. A fire seems to stand as something special situation, but simply failing dust it properly can result in a police visit. Remember the 2014 movie the interview. Hello, North Korea! It was a spy comedy about a plot to assassinate the North Korean leader while presenting him in an extremely satirical manner. I don't need my father. I am strong. Oh, excuse me. The movie took the piss out of Kim Jong un. He got so angry that he did everything he could to prevent the film from being released, from hacking Sony Pictures to even threatening to carry out a terrorist attack on the theaters that premiere the movie. Bye bye, America. Although the regime denied all responsibility, sarcastic comments about Kim or his party have been met with severe punishment ever since. The Jokers and their families simply vanish. I'm not concerned. If they do something to me, there's going to be blowback. <laughs> Every year, on the death anniversaries of the former leaders, the entire country is required to observe a period of mourning. Kim Il-sung's lasts only a week, while Kim Jong-il's lasts for 10 days. During the mourning period, laughing, drinking alcohol, or engaging in any happy activities is considered a crime according to Supreme Leader. Even celebrating your own birthday is forbidden. And if a family member dies, crying out loudly could result in jail time. 
The supreme leaders of North Korea are viewed as gods. That's why, if you own a Bible in North Korea, you risk being killed, as the only religion allowed is the worship of the Kim family. Practicing any other religion is met with heavy punishment. In 2013, 80 people were executed in front of a packed stadium simply for owning a Bible. If you're lucky, you may just be thrown into a prison camp or subjected to torture. Shockingly, there are over 100,000 religious people in prison camps and approximately 400,000 undercover Christians in North Korea. I have been very impressed by the Korean government's humanitarian treatment of severe criminals like myself.